One of the top tech stories so far this year is the rise of artificial intelligence. Now, tech and legal experts are joining forces to create AI software to tackle a multi-billion dollar program problem, tax loopholes. According to the IRS, the estimated gross federal tax gap, that's the difference between taxes owed and taxes collected, was nearly $500 billion annually from 2014 to 2016. Well, joining us now are the two people building this new software, Johns Hopkins Associate Professor Benjamin Van Derm and a University of Maryland Professor of Law, Andrew Blair Stanek. Great to have you both. So Benjamin, I want to first start with you to really set the scene here for us, what this technology is designed to do, how it's going to help close, help close this gap. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to hand that to my colleague, Andrew, um, uh, who can start that up. So thank you. Uh, so, uh, so some tax loopholes were created by Congress on purpose to benefit some industry or some uh, lobbyist. And that is not the type of tax loopholes that we're aiming at with our research. We're aiming at tax loopholes created by clever tax lawyers and accountants who creatively combine two entirely sensible parts of tax law to produce a result that is too good to be true. And it's normally big corporations and the wealthy who are benefiting from these uh, created loopholes. And really the IRS is just always behind the curve on fighting these created loopholes. Maybe the IRS finds out about them several years after tax lawyers get their wealthy clients or, or corporations using them. And our real goal, and uh, this is where Ben uh, has a lot to say, is to use artificial intelligence to basically suck in all of tax law, all of the tax code, the IRS revenue rulings, and basically find these creative loopholes before the clever tax lawyers and accountants do. Benjamin, isn't the private sector always going to be ahead of the government here? Uh, that's true. They are uh, in one way ahead of the government, but the government gets to make the rules. Uh, so the, the point of the software is uh, uh, very akin to what software developers would call unit tests, where uh, companies build unit tests for their software to make sure that the software doesn't behave in ways that they don't expect. And in a similar way, by creating sort of unit tests or this shelter check or loophole checks uh, for the IRS and Congress, the IRS can continuously iterate on the language that they use uh, when they pass new regulations um, uh, against these companies. Um, so while, while the companies might strive to try to get around these rules, in the end, again, Congress makes the rules. And so uh, we're, we're trying to limit the ability of companies to be able to uh, get around those. So, Andrew, I mean, a lot of people wondering, you know, should we be giving the IRS, you know, more help, more tools? You know, your, your average taxpayer is probably looking at this and biting their nails. Um, how fast in terms of a timeline could we see something like this be active when you think of an institution as big as the IRS? It's a really good question. So the IRS is getting $80 billion in new funding uh, as of uh, last year. Uh, I don't think that the average taxpayer has anything at all to fear from artificial intelligence uh, finding these tax loopholes. This is really a problem uh, with clever tax lawyers uh, and clever uh, tax accountants helping the very wealthy and large corporations. So uh, there may be things to fear from the IRS uh, uh, for the average taxpayer, but this sort of uh, uh, ch chasing down uh, created uh, tax shelters really isn't one of them uh, for the average taxpayer. Benjamin, what could this mean for the federal government and ultimately the tax receipts? Well, the hope is that the federal government would be able to take in hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars of revenue that they currently aren't taking. And so I, I do want to ask, uh, on the legal side of this then, some of the specifics, some of the current, the state of loopholes, I mean, are there things they could already be sort of doing without AI versus what AI will now bring to the table? Absolutely. Uh, there, there has been an ongoing uh, battle that the IRS has had with the courts recently uh, about their power uh, to shut down uh, existing tax loopholes. So certainly there is... Uh, plenty that could be done by Congress and the IRS, totally leaving aside artificial intelligence. They might need a little bit of help from Congress on that. But uh, I think artificial intelligence has a almost game-changing uh, potential uh, five years down the road to really promote tax equity, to ensure that uh, well-advised, wealthy uh, corporations and people aren't being able to, uh, to, to have these clever tax loopholes that 
uh, that, that uh, allowed them to pay a lot less than their fair share. Fascinating stuff. We see how quickly it's all evolving. We'll be looking forward to those changes. A big thank you there to Benjamin Van Derm and Andrew Blair Stanek. Thank you for joining us this afternoon.